back to another episode of Drinking Wild Black. Got a review for y'all today from Talia Beer Company out of uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Been in Williamsburg a couple times, a little bit nicer area in, in BK, um, gentrified right now. But anyways, <laughs> this is a Sun Up Hazy IPA. Never had nothing from this brewery, never even heard of them. So this is going to be interesting to try. I'm just going to get right into it. You know what? I cracked. I got a little bit too excited. Anyways, this uh, artwork on here is dope, man. I don't really know how to describe it. I see a lot of artistic shapes and circles and stuff on here. It just is real interesting. Um, you know me. Can artwork always draws me in, and this is something that would definitely do that. This IPA is a 6.5%, and unfortunately uh, contains, lact contains lactose, which is going to be something I'm scared of. Shout out to Crown the Hops for this uh, glass you already know. This joint's pouring beautifully. Nice, beautiful, beautiful color. Golden, hazy as hell, and a nice white head that's sitting there for a second. So, seems like a pretty decent joint. I ain't getting nothing on the nose yet, but I'm about to get into it. I'm getting a tropical. Some melon. And even some like white grapes. They probably use Nelson Sauvignon in this one. Cheers. Melon up front, all the way through like cantaloupe, honeydew. Um, real dry on the back end. Nice bitter hop finish on there. This is a smooth, crisp beer. It's not like a soft mouth feel. It's super crisp, easy drinking. And that melon, that melon taste, it lingers on your tongue, on your palate for a little bit. And I actually like that. I can't taste any of the lactose in here at all. Um, it's not popping up on the profile. I expected this to be a real soft mouthfeel. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting any pillowy effect on there. I'm getting melon. I'm getting crisp. I'm getting any that, that dryness on the back end. Nice finish. Kind of reminds me of a, a champagne or something, but not that dry, but just something about that crispness on here. Makes me even think of maybe like a lager or something. Either way, um, pretty decent beer. And on that note, I'm taking another sip. Yeah, definitely pretty decent. I like to get my hands on more of this Sun Up Hazy IPA. Let me pour the rest of this in here. Nice. So, this gets a thumbs up. Definitely gets a thumbs up. For me. I'm loving everything about it. Um, it's very easy drinking, something that I can throw back and drink pretty much like water. And uh, anybody who hasn't had this before, I definitely recommend trying them out. If you're in BK area, pull up on Talia and uh, see what they got in there because this right here is definitely good. Now it says juicy on here and bright. Um, it is some juiciness in there. Brightness to me would be more of that uh, that crisp mouth feel I'm getting on there. That's what I would say as far as the brightness. I don't get any floral uh, notes or any floral esters on there. It's bright but in the aspect of like i said reminding me of like a champagne or something and uh lush and to me that would be that melon straight up that would be that melon to me that fruitiness on there but juicy i'm not getting too much of that but anyways man check this beer out it's definitely something i recommend and um to everybody out there that's new make sure you guys like share and subscribe thank you to everybody that's been supporting since day one i appreciate every last one of y'all Cheers to everybody out there drinking good beer. Until the next time I see y'all, stay safe, be healthy. Peace.